I'm going to show you how to make a nice moist pumpkin bread for this recipe I'm using 330 grams of self-raising flour and half a more than half a cup of sugar you can put up to one cup because I don't like much sweetness so I reduced it if you like more sweetness add one cup half a teaspoon of salt two eggs half a cup of dates or you can put any other kind of uh, fruit or some nuts one third a cup of water and one cup of pumpkin puree and going to use one teaspoon of baking soda and some old spice or cardamom and um, cinnamon powder to start this I'm going to beat the eggs and I forgot to tell you that I need half a cup of vegetable oil in this recipe too. I added two eggs into the mixing bowl. Now into that the sugar and the vegetable oil. Going to mix this about a minute. While mixing add the spices. You can add separate spices or mixed spice. And into that I'm going to add the pumpkin you if you can um, can find pureed pumpkin you can use one whole can um, half a can of pureed pumpkin or just measure it to one cup now into that going to add the date add the flour and mix it slowly and into that add half a teaspoon of bicarb or even if you add one teaspoon it won't matter now into that add the water if you find it is so runny when you steam the pumpkin don't add too much water that depends on the pumpkin if you are using solid steamed pumpkin it doesn't matter but if you are using very runny pumpkin don't add too much water omit the water just add a little bit of water and put it in a loaf pan I sprayed the loaf pan properly before I add the pumpkin bread dough so I'm going to put this in the oven about one hour on 170 I finished baking the pumpkin bread and if I it's really hot if I slice this to show you it's really moist and nice and I hope you will enjoy this too thank you for watching